Urbana University had an extremely successful year in 2013, going 7-3 and three overall, finishing in a tie for second in the MEC with a 7-2 and two mark. The Blue Knights graduated the Mountain East Conference Offensive Player of the Year and quarterback D.J. Mendenhall, but still bring back several key pieces, including running back David Hill and receiver Alvin Busby. Starting his eighth season at Urbana, head coach David Tainer. Um, first, I'd like to thank the Mountain East Conference, thank all the media that's here. It's an excellent opportunity when you have it as a head coach to be able to come and talk about your team and the upcoming season that we're extremely excited about. Uh, but what I'd like to start out with is last year, 2013, in Media Day, you know, we, we showed up and then now, first year in the conference, now we're moving to our second year of conference, but it feels like it's a little bit of a groundhog day a little bit for us. We were uh, pick six coming into last year's uh, season, and, and I talked to our guys last year going into the season. I said, that's because we don't know who we are. I, we have to introduce ourselves into the conference. Um, we wore, uh, on all of our travel games last year, we wore, wore a blue shirt that had the number six on it uh, to all of our games and wore it underneath of our stuff. And now uh, we have the opportunity this year, and I told our two guys that traveled with me here today, I said, we're going to get picked sixth again I said, because people are going to assess some certain things. They're going to look at it, and this is where we're going to be picked. What it's done is provided us a challenge and an opportunity going into this season to be able to step up and meet that opportunity when there's change. You know, we've constantly focused with our guys on the idea that when you face change, you know, as a person or as a team, followers will fear change. You know, good leaders will adapt to change, and great leaders look at the opportunity created by change as a place that they can go and thrive. You know, we constantly focus with our guys on trying to develop them into being leaders. So we're provided with an opportunity. Um, I'll address two things, and I'm sure that they were, there'll be questions that would have been asked, because I've been asking before, about a couple different things that have happened within our program. We had a phenomenal quarterback this past year. DJ Mendenhall was a four-year starter for us, was a conference player of the year uh, in two different conferences, was a three-time um, three conference First team all-conference player, was got a, several recognitions as an All-American and different things, and obviously we have to replace that leadership. Um, I talked to all of our quarterbacks and talked to our offensive football team going into spring of this year, is that in 2010 we had a linebacker by the name of Travis Briscoe. Travis Briscoe led the nation in sacks. He led the nation in tackles for loss. He led the nation in forced fumbles. That year during the offseason, I was asked by a lot, what are you guys going to do on defense? Going into, going into this season without Travis Briscoe being there. I said, this is a team game. It's an opportunity for t your team to step up and cover up that loss, which is a loss. Uh, the 2011 season was the best season defensively in the history of Urbana University football. So going into this year, we have to depend upon some of our leaders on offense to make up for the loss of a great quarterback. We're going to have competition during camp uh, between Cody Schroeder, who's a transfer from Cal PA, and from Cale Bertieshaw, who was our starter coming out of spring, who did a phenomenal job. Uh, and those two guys provide leadership for our program going into the season. But we're going to depend upon some seniors we have in our program. We have a couple senior receivers that are returning. Alvin Busby, who joined us today, who was a very productive receiver. I think eight touchdowns last year. Uh, had over, over 30 catches, um, over 500-some yards. We had um, Mark, Mark Johnson will be a senior, uh, who had seven touchdowns. I think has 18 career touchdowns. Uh, so we expect those guys to step up during this time. The second thing is, you know, we're going through, and I've been asked about it, we're going through a transition as a university. I'm a graduate of Urbana University, an extremely proud alumni, and we took a step this year in the spring that's going to provide us uh, with the resources to better support our student athletes in their quest to become better leaders and graduate the institution when we merged with Franklin University, which has provided us with the ability to, to afford those resources to our student athletes. And as an educator and as a head football coach and a mentor to our student athletes, I couldn't be more excited about the change and the opportunity that's set in front of us. It's our job to step up and move forward as great leaders and develop and take that opportunity to better ourselves and to better our university. Um, to talk a little bit, as I talked a little bit about offense there, to talk about our defense going into the season. Last year, we were an extremely young defense. Um, when we started the season against Finley Uni University of Finley, uh, it was a very good Division II team that went 8-3. and three. We struggled a lot. Throughout the year, we grew and we gelled uh, quite a bit, substantially. 
We had a couple young guys, uh, redshirt freshman and Kevin Chapel, who tied for the lead of the league in sacks, and Gary Wallace, who was a sophomore who just played special teams before, that led the conference in tackles for loss. We're looking for those guys to become leaders as we move into this 2014 season and have provided the opportunity to thrive during change. So when we look at it, this year may not have been a big change in where we were picked, being picked for six, but it's a big year of change for our university and for our program, and it's a challenge for us to step forward. So thank you very much.